Hello, this is Scott Pacino, editor of telecoms.com here at Network X 2024. And I'm delighted to be speaking to Razvan Todor yes, uh, of Bitdefender. I hope I got that more or less right. Yes, Bitdefender. Um, uh, and uh, Razvan, I, I understand that you've been at the show, you've been talking about the smart home and specifically um, its potential vulnerability to hackers. Can you just start by telling us a little bit more about that? Oh, yeah, gladly. I mean, um, smart homes are, are on the rise. Um, and we, I don't think we understand completely the concept of smart home, because when we think about smart home, we think probably more like, I mean, you're old enough to know the Jetsons. Uh, so I'm you think so. about, yeah, you think about a, a house that kind of turns around the, the, the sun and it has a lot of things. But it's actually, it's like all the smart devices in our homes. And if you think yeah. about it, we're, we're surrounded by smart devices. Um, so, um, this kind of um, appetite to bring more and more devices in our homes, what it does from a cybersecurity perspective, it's, it's, it en uh, enlarges the attack surface. So a yeah. hacker has more and more options to, to you know, more entry uh, exploit points. more yeah. entry points and so on. So yes, smart homes are, are on the rise, we adopt them very fast, but that, that also ex exposes us to all, sort of, all sorts of vulnerabilities that the smart devices come with. And so one of these hackers, yeah. um, if, they, if they do successfully exploit one of some of these vulnerabilities, what could they do with that opportunity? Well, it's up to their imagination really, but um, I think one of the things is to understand that there's, um, there's actually a very thin barrier between physical security and digital security. Like, just think about uh, what we call um, address doxing, which is um, one of your smart devices giving away your, your home address. Right. Uh, if you think about smart locks, they have their vulnerabilities. If you think about cameras, there's actually a, a website on the internet uh, where you can uh, access feeds of cameras that right hack. well that's that's a nightmare it's, scenario, it's quite a nightmare it? someone yeah. hacking and a then, webcam and then or whatever that's on 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 the other side is your sensitive data your private data your financial information so we're going in from from i don't know privacy invasion now we're going into into actual financial loss and that's super possible yeah and so i guess as the name of your company strongly implies, yes. you, uh, you have some sort of measures or products or services that can help counter that. Yeah, to protect the bits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, we do. We do have an entire portfolio, um, which we address the consumer market with, and a, spe a specialized portfolio, which we address the telco, our telco partners with. Um, to we, we deploy cybersecurity on three layers, at the network level, at the DNS level, at the CPE level, at the router level, to protect all the devices in the smart home. And then at the end, what we call endpoint level, which is protecting your devices when you take them away with you, like your phones, laptops, tablets, and, and so okay. on. And then, oh, another, another dimension, the fourth one is cloud services. And we come with, uh, with products that protect your identity, your digital identity, identify your digital footprint, uh, and, and so on. And so you, you touched on it a minute ago, but the final question, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the, the operator channel, um, why, why it is, we're talking at a telecoms trade show, why it is that operators should be interested in what you do. Well, I think there's a, there's a huge interest right now for value-added services in the telco world. And there's also, uh, according to our studies, and, and I, I've seen it in, in other studies as well, um, the, the consumer expects that the, the, the digital security comes from the operator. And it makes sense, because if you think about it, my entire connection comes from yeah, the that's operator. that's the pipe so, in. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. so my smart home comes alive when it's connected by an operator. So they expect that they will secure it as well. Right, okay, so there's an opportunity for, for operators to add value to their subscribers exactly. through that security. Exactly. Okay, well that's brilliant, thanks a lot. Thank you too.